To examine a patient's carotid arteries, first start with auscultation. Here you're evaluating for breweries. Ask the patient to hold their breath and evaluate one side at a time, allowing them to breathe in between. Place your stethoscope directly over the carotid artery and listen for any high-pitched noise. After you've listened, now you can palpate. Do one side at a time to prevent the patient from passing out. From this view, you can see where to place your stethoscope. It's just anterior to the sternocleidomastoid muscle. You want to palpate in the same area as well. If you're having a hard time finding their carotid artery, you can ask them to lower their jaw or tense it a little bit, which will flex their sternocleidomastoid muscle, allowing you to better find the position. Next, to evaluate the radial arteries, palpate both at the same time, appreciating any differences side to side. To perform an Allen's test, first find the radial and ulnar arteries. Include both of them with your thumb. Ask the patient to make a fist and to pump their fist quite a few times. This is getting all the blood out of their hand. After they've done this, ask them to open their hand. Then you're going to release the ulnar artery. Blood should return to the hand within 2-3 to three seconds if they have good collateral flow. To palpate the brachial artery, look on the medial aspect of the patient's upper arm. You can ask them to flex their bicep and look just below it. Palpate firmly as this is a deep artery. To listen to the renal arteries, first start 2-3 to three centimeters above the umbilicus, then move out 2-3 to three centimeters each side laterally, evaluating for any breweries. The abdominal aorta you can evaluate 2 to 3 centimeters above the umbilicus. To assess the size of the abdominal aorta, start 2 to 3 centimeters superior to the umbilicus. Start midline and palpate deeply. Move out laterally until you no longer feel the pulsations of the abdominal aorta. Then use a ruler to measure this width. To find the popliteal artery, ask the patient to flex their leg with their foot flat on the exam table. Using both hands, Palpate deeply into the popliteal fossa behind the patient's knee. Salus pedis pulse is between the first and second toe, 3 to 5 centimeters proximally. The posterior tibial pulse is just posterior to the medial malleolus.